Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 59 of the raid series. In uh, the previous episode, we went and killed Killer. Got him. As well as we cruised around interchange trying to get some scav kills and then died to kill her again. So once we got that done, now we can move into woods where we can kill Sturman, get his key, and hopefully get some suppressed bolt action kills from 45 meters away for the Tarkov shooter part seven task. So that's what we're going to be going for for today. Um, so guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. We pretty much set up on the previous uh on the previous episode we set up ready to go for the next task so um we've got a mixture of 7 and 1 and snb ammo 7 and 1 has really high flesh damage and really high pen um whereas snb has really high pen as well as uh fairly decent flesh damage so it should be pretty sweet overall i like to take a spare probital ready to go straight away so if i get hit i can just quickly do that and run um there's no real requirement to take in a rig at all for this because we're going to be going for sturman and uh, I'm not really going to be trying to loot too much. Grab that stuff there. This is not going to be messing about at all. We're going to be getting straight into the action. Um, there's not really much else to do. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get straight into woods. We're going to go daytime. Um, and uh, hopefully run into some uh, some players that aren't ready for us and kill Sturman while we're at it. Let's go. All right, woods. So, woods have actually had a fairly consistent pattern of how to play it of recent. It's still the same, like... I guess cans would be the word to use, where you just sometimes die without any idea where you got shot from. Um, but because of how they made it wider, it's actually not as bad as it used to be. So um, there's not as much choke point to go through a lumberman. Now, this fog is going to be really brutal. Um, I also found out recently that you can actually level up your snob skill by just reloading your mag over and over again. I don't know if they're a good thing or not. Yeah. If you need to level up your sniper skill, that's one way of doing it. Alright, so... We're just going to be powering through directly to... Towards the lumber mill. If you know where to, uh, to aim... I'm not used to using an, an SV98, to be honest, but I know the range. And hopefully, I can just one-tap Sturman in the head if the fog allows for it. And if he's there. We're going to listen out for any players so we can try and ambush them. The best thing you can do on this map is try and third party as much as possible. So you hear players shooting scabs or scab boss. You want to try and hit him from the side. Oh my god, are you serious? That shotgun scout just destroyed me. away from him. I'm just going to top up these health. Thor expect the full. Not. Nah. This fog's actually going to make it really difficult to get the... Uh, to get the kill here, but because there's no point going up on top of the mountain because we just won't be able to see the uh, see the scab boss. So we're gonna push and try and hit him from a range that we can see him from. Now the easiest way to know if he's there is you want to look inside the doorway of the of the big warehouse. You'll see a snot a scab boss minion sitting there. 
So usually from just over here you can do it. So from here you can see just in the doorway you'll see it. We'll see see that minion. Right, minion's down. Alright, so, if it wasn't foggy, this would be a really easy job to do right now. Because it's foggy, I'm actually, dev like, I'm actually worried that we're going to be in a bit of trouble. We can push and try and do it in more of an aggressive way. Alright, so that he's shooting at a player now. God, that's a me. We're dead if he sees me now. I don't know if I can actually see him from up here in that low ground. Fuck me. Right, uh, we'll take a wide. We don't have a grenade on us? Nah. I don't think he was shooting at me the whole time, so he switched to me. Keeping an eye out for a player. This fog is so bad. Gonna have to go for it. No, no, no. They're at the bottom of that little cliff bit too. Fuck me. Alright. Couple options here. This fog is ruining everything. Most people are probably avoiding woods right now. They uh, knew the fog was here, so. Alright, Sturman could be behind there, or he could be there. Oh my god, oh, this is so brutal. Alright, I need to get behind that shed. Probably haven't been third partied yet, so. Happy that I haven't been, though. Oh no. Fuck off. What have you got? Ammo for it. We get desperate. We got this. So he's shooting at someone. Nope. He's shooting at me. Are you fucking serious? He's such a boss. Alright, so Sturman is the easiest guy boss when you can get close to him and you're ready for it. But when it's like this, it's rough.
Got him. It says hard 25. I'm going to get third party here, 100%. Oh, he's Better than no backpack, I guess. Let's go. No violet card. Oh, we need to get that item from the uh, the thing as well. This item and get out. The outpost? The straight outskirts? Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, the fact that we haven't made third party is a miracle. Miracle. Where we can, I guess. I don't know where out. I'm gonna cry. Just keep running, just keep running. I think the next one's Glucker. Reserve rains for fun. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Yeah, scab just heard me in the back. Go, 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 go. We can take the uh, SP-98 to the reserve and try and get the, the long-range headshots there too. The shooter born in heaven and also get the 45, middle, 45 meter uh, to press kills. Out of there. Oh, that's good. Good. Really happy we got that done. Oh. Alright, we got the Sturman kill. Heal up. Part thing, we ran pretty much straight for the lumber mill, killed the uh, scab boss minion straight away, and then we just decided oh, we should slowly got, got the rest of the uh, scab boss kills. Literally, guys, that was a coin flip. I could have died multiple times then. I got really lucky that they missed their shots because sometimes they just beam you. And, like, you could see it hitting the rocks and that, and Sturman was shooting at me from ages away. Potentially, he killed another player or two. Um, we just don't know where. Um, because there was there was shooting before I was even in line of sight a couple of times. So I got a feeling that the player was running up and got just, just decimated. Uh, you know when I was going near that sniper rock, the big rock? But, yeah, um... There are probably a couple of players that got destroyed on the way, getting closer to him. We'll hand over the key now. 
Um, we now kill Glucker and also uh, we've got kill Sturman with the uh, the uh, the mark, but you don't have to do that for Kappa. So the cool thing about this is we actually got three lab keys and, and a VPX. I'm going to sell every one of those because they're selling for 400,000 ruble. 476. This is so insane. 476. One, two, three. And then the VPX will hopefully sell for a bit too. 218. Well, we might as well sell the gunpowder while we're at it too. Cool. Our money is good again. Let's say you'll sell. 20, 1, 2, 3. Um, all right. So we were doing this. I want to go into reserved now. So put that key back in the custom spot. We don't have a lot of reserve keys, but we've got enough. Um, let's top up that. We're going to try and get our Galaka kill. And happy with that. I don't really want to mess about. <laughs> It's been selling. The gunpowder sold. And the VPX sold. So the lab keys haven't sold yet. Therapist hasn't reset yet. So the access cards. They're selling now. Yep, I just bought all three. Insane. All right, back up to three million. Um, economy's not wrong at all. I'm just going to sell this for. 15 million. Wow. What are graphics cards selling for? I'm just trying to think, like, if I was to get uh, the Bitcoin farm the next level. 1.8. So it'd be 10 more graphics cards. I can't see it being worthwhile. Just can't. Like, we got pretty much unlimited money now. If we were to get the Bitcoin farm to the next level, it's just, yeah, I don't know. Let's get some uh, more of this and we don't have to worry about it. Might just buy enough for two lots. Then we just need two of these. Cool. And them over. Oh, we got the supply plans done. There is his rubles. I'm not really stressed about the rep. I think he's his more rubles, so. Yep, he's more rubles. Cool. So besides that. Now, we can do the Hermetic Door one. That's not required for Kappa. That's done. We've got one more quest for here done. Uh, to go. Shooter Born in Heaven, which we're going to work on right now. Also trying to kill our friend Glucka. Cool. All right. We're off to kill Glucka. We don't really need that. See how we go. Cash from that. Reserve. It's still probably going to be a little bit foggy, but we'll make the most of it, I guess. And let's go. All right, reserve. Reserve used to be like the only map I went for like months. Months. I really like reserve, actually. So the strategy here... It works really well. Or it's been working really well for me. Is to try and get on top of this building over here as fast as possible. I'm a little worried about a player being on top of that hill, seeing me do this. 
Hoping they just go into those little cabin things first. We want to get inside here. And then kill the people as they go inside the room. So we'll, we'll zero to 100. Because this is like 110 meters. Oh my god, I did not want to do that. Now, if we're lucky... They know I'm here now. We have to move so fast right now. Wrong way. I'm gonna try this like random. Oh god, Raider's gonna get get me. That's not a Raider. Shit. He was mega geared too. Yeah. He thought I was on the right hand side still. He was super aggressive. A low level player. All right, so the plan I want to do is get up on the hill. Behind these guys. What am I in this? PT. What if it's cheeky for me to go back in?
Best one there. I don't know how much success we'll have. Trying to snipe down from here. Oh. That was unlucky timing. See if that gets him looking out this way. Just want to get a little bit more stamina up. I think they've gone under. Worst thing is, my leg's busted. Quite happy to sit up here for a little bit. I'll set it to 200 meters, see what happens. But he's about 220 to there. <laughs> I'll be proving right now. Gonna chew my hydration, isn't it? Let's put it back down to a hundred. I don't know how much these guys are going to go up to that window or on the roof. What I might do is go back onto the roof of this building. Be a little bit cheeky. I reckon I can get these 100 meter headshots.
gonna go for this. See him anyway. Zero to a hundred. Come on. I'm pretty sure that's a scav. Good means should get some sort of warning. Sure that scav just got killed. there now. Oh no. I legged him. Oh, that's going to slow him down. I'm dead. Damn it. These things happen. I would stand out pretty badly up there, but at the same time, if I didn't fuck me shots, I would have had them. Um, Path thing, pretty straightforward. I ran down to, I ran across to the building and I camped on the river. I stuffed up so many shots then. We landed four shots in total. The last hit was 113 meters. Um, we've got the one PMC kill down below. And then we got killed by an M4 with 905 at the end. But we were getting sniper levels up. So, it's not the end of the world there. Unfortunately, the player was just a little bit too uh, close when I shot the guy in the fucking head from like three meters away. But we're going to keep working on, uh, on this. Should be able to do at least another attempt at that. The fog needs to just fuck right off. Oh, my camera's died. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know why it does this. It's on my to-do list to reinstall Windows. I don't know how long that was dead for. So I apologize for that. It's it's honestly on my to-do list. I'm so swarmed right now trying to get shit done. Um, I'm going to reinstall Windows on that computer and hopefully it'll be better from there. <sighs> All right. Um, we can just go Mosin. Uh... Standard Mosin, suppressed. Um, you can go Bramets by just buying them. Or you can do a barter trade from Jaeger. Or... Two lunchboxes. This is how cheap you get them, I guess. We've already got one, so... That'll do, I guess. I don't think it's actually... It, most of it's probably not the best way of doing it, though, because now I need to get a tri-rail to be able to uh, mount the site that I want to use. Oh, they're only 3k, though. Not too bad. And put the Velde on there. That goes on there. And we're good to go. Um, armor. We'll just take in Old Faithful. Helmet. Okay. Cool. And meds. That one plus 
that one. And we're good. I think that's everything we need. Yep. Ammo. More SMB ammo. Cheeky that they put the price of our SMB ammo up. I'll reload it in there. And we're good to go. Get in another raid. Hopefully we'll be able to find Sturman this time. Sorry, Sturman. Glucker this time. And have some fun. Reserve. Daytime. Assurance. And hopefully the fo fog fucks off. All right. So in we go again. We're going to be going for the old Glucker. We're also trying to get some Shooter Born of Heavens done if possible. Um, the, the best case scenario is we see Glucker from range. I can headshot him with the Mosin. Quick reload. All right, this spawn's not really the best for Glucker. I'm not. I'm, just, I'm totally just going to ignore the mark room and hope that no one kills me from over here. Sometimes you can get really lucky. Oh, fuck off, Fog. I'd rather rain than Fog. I can literally see nothing with fog. Audio I can turn down. Holy moly. Gluck is up. Are you charging me? Alright, we have a new tactic. New tactic! At least we know Glucker and his minions is up. Now we just got to get the kill. I saw that play get absolutely destroyed. Hopefully, no one snaps me while I do this. However, the fog protects me from that. Even if I just weakened them a little bit, it would be worth. This is going 
be rough with the mows then. Chasing me out. It was the one, the first shot that I missed was Glucker. There's a fucking man in there, dog shooting at me. Just no one pissed me off for a minute. How quickly did he lock on? What was I meant to do there? That was fucking lame. I wonder if I got any with the AGS. I got one. I was just trying to get a clean little shot off, like a hardy hold, take a shot, and then just whap. <laughs> well, we're leveling up vitality at the worst case scenario and stress resistance, so it's always a positive. You know, always look at the positives. And we are leveling up our sniper skill. We are getting hits with snipers and stuff, so. Um, the best way to kill a Glocker is to have 60 round mags and whatever gun you want to use, so. Or 50s. That's generally the suggestion I would take or give. All right, so we could even use that, to be honest. Or this. Um, what I want to do now is I'm going to do a scav run just to uh, finish up, try and get that, get that the cash flow getting topped up a few times. Um, I'm just thinking about how I want to go into the next one. Load BS, load 7N. All right. This is how I would, would do it legitimately. I wanted to kill him. But if I wanted him dead, this is how I would do it. And I'd go this armor. This is cheaper. And then if he's going to hit you in the head, you're dead anyway. All right. So that's ready to go for the next one. We'll get a, a four in there, and then that is good. So, right. Quick, uh, quick scav run. 
to uh to finish it up see if we can get some uh fat loots kill a good player or two a geared player or two and then it'll probably be the end of the end of the episode but we are we are progressing even if it isn't uh as clear cut as you'd hope all right we're in Papa shaft Where is he hiding? Where is he? What on, blitz? What on, you bash here? What? I don't know what the plane's doing. Replace Gav at least. What do you got for me, buddy? Oh, we replaced the motion. Right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. See. What do we got? What is this? It's special. Oh, well. Mine now. Be sure to have fun. Be sure to go into a scavenger every now and then. Once you do have your stuff going on and, and, and everything going well, you don't have to just play in your main account. You can jump on a scavenger, just go do what I did then. Just troll another player scav. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So, um, I really want to just try and get Glacker in the next episode. Uh, it sucks that I died to him. It, it was kind of shit. Like, Getting beamed like that from so far away. The very first time they beamed me was rough because it was like they were pretty much locked on since um since then. So made it really difficult. But we'll uh we'll try to uh progress with that quest. <coughs> Sorry guys. Uh where is four grips? Excuse me. There we go. Um so yeah, we're geared up and ready to go for the next one. We don't they sell for a little bit on the flea now. So we're trying to do the setup quest. We did 27k. That's that rude. Uh, we'll just go quickly to Ragman and just put some of this stuff aside. Cool. And then. And then. No one then. Cool. Um. Put that stock on instead. Get a tri rail. I really buy a couple of these. Cool. And then some Veldays. Either the Veldays or Voodoo is, is where it's at. And we've got a Mosin ready to go. Oh, some Bramets. Brr. 
Ram it. One. Now, I would just go hex grids as well on the next one, but I just <laughs> I don't want to blow through our cash until we get a little bit more back up. Um, so for now, it's probably just going to be that, which is fine. We don't need to have um, full meta gear every single time. We could do a nighttime run, though. That would probably be the only other thing that we could do. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, as for this episode, that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. You know, you guys know the drill by now. Smash the like button, comment for the YouTube algorithm. One more episode left of the week. Um, so, hopefully, uh, it's a good one. And uh, subscribe, notification bell, keep you up to date for everything. I stream on Twitch every day of the week. So, go to the link below. Give me a follow over there. By this time, hopefully, the patch will be out. Patch point 12.10. And I'll be putting out lots of videos on um, the patch and highlights and stuff like that. So, yeah. Lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.